Dr. Botanica here on May 1st, 2022. I'm going to kick off my annual garden. And uh, for those of you who saw my video last year, had a very nice yield of cucumber, squash, and collards uh, last year. So, But this year I'm going to expand back two feet, go to Home Depot and get some wood. And uh, as you see my utensils here, my drill over there. So I'm going to expand that and then I'm going to go around the corner here. And I'm actually going to do a raised bed back here because it's concrete. This used to be a garage. So it's only about maybe about six inches. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a raised bed, do some potatoes, some additional produce. And I just decided to go and throw in some tomatoes just to see how it worked. I've really never planted tomatoes. My mom, my grandmother, my father used to plant tomatoes. They did very well with those. So this would be my first year uh, taking that on. And then I get a few other things outside the, uh, the little barn here. Just uh, went and purchased some peat moss to enhance that. And I will be also adding some willet water. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with Willard water that was developed by Dr. Willard, it actually can expand the size of the produce. Uh, for people that also saw my produce, they noticed that it was much larger than normal, but that was probably due to the additional fertilizer and the Willard water that you add to water. But as you see here, this is, uh, will be my crop this year, uh, taking on some lettuce, Utah celery. Uh, I've already planted the onions. It's rather late for me to throw these in. I may try it because uh, in this region, it should be planted between March and April. Everything else is good uh, between May and June. And I wanted to do some spinach, but I'll wait to the, to the fall or getting to the end of the summer in this region because it's rather late. But you can actually uh, start planting spinach uh, in late July, August in this in this Midwest region. But you see the jalapenos here, uh, the bell pepper. I've done many stories on the carrot. And one of the things I still can't understand about uh, the Asiatic people, why they won't come together and create a cooperative economic empowerment movement. Uh, certainly can relate to the, all the nationality uh, subject matters that's out there, people trying to get people to recognize who they really are and how we're tied to the land long before the Europeans even came out of the caves of Europe, long before the consciousness even divided. That's a great subject. Law is a great subject. You got to understand law or overstand law and learn the difference between law, legalese, and what's really going on between the de facto and the de jure. But again, uh, we need to expand our mind on how we eat you still got to eat and you still it is very very important to become independent instead of becoming dependent on someone else to feed you and this is one of the things that dr amos wilson put an emphasis on even though his narrative was an emphasis on black people he wrote a phenomenal book called the blueprint to, uh, to black power and it doesn't take a rocket science to realize the only thing you need to do is just unify with your neighbor or the community and say, hey, let's acquire some land where the Moors can acquire some land and just start farming. I mean, I, don't, I just can't understand what point are they, are they not getting. At the end of the day, you're still going to a grocery store that does not give back to your community or your cause. And I don't know what it takes. I've been doing this since I was nine years old been fishing and things like that and studying since I was an age of uh, before I was age and I was fishing actually at the age of probably two years old my mom started taking me to the lake uh, going out on the boat and things like that my father was a hunter as well as a gardener and a fisherman so I, uh, I was fortunate enough to receive the grassroots of self-empowerment through agriculture and uh, again going out fishing you know and so I tried to basically instead of giving one a fish, you're teaching a person how to fish. Instead of giving someone some produce, you're teaching them how to grow a garden. 
as I stated before, I've told the story many times, there's a company called Boathouse. It's a multi-billion dollar company on one commodity. One commodity, and that's carrots, okay? They started out in Michigan in the, uh, 1915, I believe, and they serviced the community, began to service the entire state. Uh, you know, a few decades later, they decided to grow the carrots all year round, so they moved to California became one of the largest carrot producers that, you know, and their wealth would carry on for generations after generation because of one particular commodity, carrots. Carrots are rich in beta carotene, carotenoids, excellent for the eyes. Whoever says out there that carrots are not good and they're hybrid, again, they need to go back and do their homework because um, for those of you who know my background, I specialize in adjuvant nutritional therapy which I have some of the most successful end-stage lung and breast cancer case studies in the entire Midwest. And I learned that from being a student of the Gerson therapy when I went to Tijuana, Mexico, studying under uh, the Charlotte Gerson's therapy, who was the daughter of Max Gerson, one of the most eminent geniuses of the, of the, 19th, or the 20th century, um, and basically using carrots and Granny Smith apple juice as a base to improve the metabolism and uh, and help people actually recover using this therapy along with many other th modalities with that system called the Gerson therapy. But as you see here, this is my, uh, what I'm starting with right now. And uh, I'll be doing the raised bed later on, probably some potatoes. And uh, you gotta surround yourself with greenery. If you're constantly in the computer all day doing research and work and you're not getting out connecting with nature, you're still missing a very, very important link. You know, you can have all the knowledge around, but if you don't connect with nature, I don't care how many books you read, you know, you can squash that. If you don't have that divine connection with nature and growing something, growing something, even wheatgrass, even sprouts, broccoli sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, uh, another major, major thing is the mothers and fathers introduce your, your offspring to produce or growing produce. Start something like getting them a sprout kit so they'll have the actual contact of seeing something grow and being a part of that manifestation. Okay, we're, we're sitting around, you know, kids on the football field or children on the football field or whatever you want to call them. And uh, playing Xbox, going to the mall, all these other things. This is why the Europeans and all the other people that are in farming are way ahead of the game. Did a video about three years ago. If you're not into manufacturing, distribution, or retail, you're not in the game. Okay? You can't even, you know, get them the game of Monopoly and show them how the system really works. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to be starting my garden. Uh, I'm going to uh, turn on the hose, you know, add some water. I'm going to go get my willet water. I will show you this in another part, how the willet, willet water is actually added. And you can actually consume it. It also enhances the bioavailability of your supplements, if you, especially if you're taking a food base or food state nutrient. For those of you who understand the supplement game, almost 90% of the products out there, no matter what the label states, made from synthetics and rocks okay so uh before you start shooting from the hip getting supplements and start you know following people who really don't know what they what they're talking about they've seen a couple of videos or a couple of books but uh but you want to connect with someone not just myself but someone that's really connected and has been in that deep circle of intrigue that i was fortunately a part of through my growth and development and for those of you who again know my background uh, Dick Gregory highly, highly endorsed my practice. Matter of fact, he will label me as the master of, of health, you know, because I've helped many people across the board with all health concerns, from multiple sclerosis to cancer, diabetes. Again, it takes, it just takes an effort to get back into nature, reconnect with nature, and put your hands into the dirt and experience the growth and a manifestation of your own natural chemical free produce. Talk to you soon with another part two. I'm Dr. Botanica, peace and be well.